Alright, in this video I'm going to do a related rates problem and I'm too lazy to write the problem out. So the problem I'm going to do here is number 17. So it reads at noon ship A is 100 kilometers west of ship B. Ship A is sailing south at 35 kilometers an hour and ship B is sailing north at 25 kilometers an hour. How fast is the distance between the ships changing at 4 p.m.? Alright. So that's what we're going to do here. A little shameless plug for more math problems on my website. Alright, so let's get down to business here and do this problem. So a good thing for related rates problems, get everything back where it needs to be. I think a good acronym for related rates is what sometimes I've heard called DREDS. So D R E D S. And what DREDS stands for is come up with a diagram, label your rates, find an equation, then you take a derivative, and only after that do you substitute specific information. Okay, so I'm going to use that on this problem as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is come up with a diagram and you may want to open another video and just pause it so you can read the problem. But again, it, it says the following. It says, ship A is 100 kilometers west of ship B. Okay, so here's ship B and this is 100 kilometers. It says ship A is sailing south and ship B is sailing north. So this is one important thing. Any quantities that vary with time, you're going to want to label those with vari variables. So certainly this distance A is getting bigger um, as this ship travels further south. So I'm going to label that. I'll say that his distance traveled is X. And the same thing with ship B. We'll say that its distance traveled is Y. They also tell me the rate at which these ships are changing. So this is where you, f you use your rates. So it says ship A is sailing south at a rate of 35 kilometers an hour. The way that you can write that is, well, the change in the x direction with respect to time is 35 kilometers an hour. And I'm going to leave my units off because I'm lazy. Ship B is sailing north, so the change in the y direction in the y length with respect to time was 25 kilometers an hour. And we want to know how fast the distance between these two ships is changing at some time later. Well, at some time later, this, this diagonal will be, will be the distance between them. So maybe I'll call that Z. And what we're trying to find now is the change in the distance between them with respect to time. That's, a, that's the thing that I'm trying to solve this problem for. Okay, so I've got a decent little diagram here, hopefully. Then I've labeled my rates that I know. I label also the rates that I'm trying to figure out. And the next thing it says is come up with an equation. So you want to come up with an equation relating x and y and z. Well, notice you can make this into a right triangle. Let me just take another piece of paper here. So here was the distance y. Whoops. The distance x was over here, but why don't we just go ahead and drop that over here as well. We were trying to find this rate of change, which was z. And the distance between the two ships, the, the amount east to west, stays fixed. So we can label that simply with its value, which was 100. That's not changing in this problem. 
So all I did was I put the X over here. That gives me the length of my triangle, the 100. And now I have a right triangle. So my equation that's going to relate these two variables, these three variables rather, is going to be Pythagorean theorem. So it says 100 squared plus, okay, well now if I add the length of the other side of the triangle, which is x plus y squared, that has to equal z squared. And this is where I do my implicit differentiation. So I'll take the derivative with respect to time in this problem. And remember, 100 squared is just a number, so when you take the derivative of that, it simply disappears. I'll have to use the chain rule on the next part, and I'll get the derivative as being 2 x plus y, then I have to take the derivative of the inside, which is going to be 1 plus 1, whoops, I left off my 1 dx dt, almost forgot, plus 1 dy dt, and that's going to equal 2z dz dt. Okay, so sorry for the little sloppiness there, I've been doing regular implicit differentiation and almost left it out. So we're trying to solve this problem for dz dt, so usually I go ahead and isolate that. So dz dt is going to be equal to 2 times x plus y, again this was a dx dt, plus dy dt, and that's all being divided now if I move the 2z over by 2z. Well I can simply cancel out the 2's and now you're ready to we've now we've now we figured out the diagram we came up with the rates we found an equation we took the derivative now we need to substitute in our specific information into this problem okay well we had dx dt labeled that was basically ship a's speed which was 35 dy dt that's ship b's speed which was 25 Okay, we don't have x and y yet, or z, but we can figure that out um, by simply using, again, you know, rereading the problem. These ships started moving at noon, and we want to find the distance between them at 4 p.m. Well, that's four hours later. So if ship A is traveling 35 kilometers an hour for four hours, that means x is going to be a distance of 140 miles, or kilometers, rather. Um, and that means y, after four hours, if it's sailing north at a rate of 25 kilometers an hour, will have a value of 100. So I'll plug that in for x plus y. 140 plus 100. And again, we can also simply use these values now. We had our equation that related x and y and z. We can now plug those values in and simply solve for z. So if we solve for z, we'll get the square root of 100 squared plus x, which was again 140, plus y, which is 100, quantity squared. And now, dear viewer, I will let you simplify these things down. Just add the 140 and 100, add the 35, 25, multiply those, add the 140 and 100, square it, add to that 100 squared, take the square root, and simply at the end just do the division. And that's going to be the rate of change, the, dis the rate at which the distance between the two shifts is changing at 4 p.m. So again I think this little mnemonic device, this dreads device, is kind of a good procedure to follow. Again, any quantities that vary with time, like ship A's distance traveled and ship B's distance traveled, and the distance between them, make sure you give those variables. Since ship A was traveling due south and ship B was traveling due north, this sort of um, horizontal distance between the two ships stays fixed at 100. That's why we didn't have to label that with a variable at all. Um, a lot of times coming up with an equation between the two variables is also, or your, well, not two variables, in this case three variables, however many variables you have. A lot of times the geometry, that's going to be the tricky part. Um, but otherwise you can follow this procedure to the T, remembering to take the derivative with respect to time. If you need to see some more implicit differentiation problems or other math videos, feel free to visit my website. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email.